In this video, I'm going to walk you through the assignment cycle in Google Classroom. There are six steps in the cycle, and there's a couple of important pitfalls that we're going to try to avoid along the way. Now, this graphic I will link to in the video notes so you can pull it up, and I've tried to also highlight some of the key kind of buttons or things that you and your students should be looking for in each of these steps. Step one is to go ahead and, as the teacher, assign the work to the student. So I have uh, my classroom set up here. I've got an assignment all written and ready to go. I'm going to select my due date, very important, so that students are notified uh, when that assignment is due. I've attached my file, make a copy for each student, which is perfect for what I'm trying to do. I'm going to go ahead and click Assign. Now that assignment is immediately going to go out. It's going to get posted here in the Classwork page, and it's also going to be pushed to the front of my classroom into the stream, and we'll just give a little a notice there for my students. If the students are signed into Google Classroom, they're going to get a little notice in the class itself. If they have the Google Classroom app on their phone, they'll get a push notification as well. So I'm going to flip over to uh, my student account. So now I'm a student in this class, and I can see that that assignment has just been uh, posted, just shown up right there. Now if I click on the assignment, um, it'll take me into the directions and all the information about that assignment. So I'm gonna click there, and now I see all of the um, information about that assignment, when it's due, any special instructions, files that have been provided to me. Now in this case, um, the student would have to open up uh, this file and complete the assignment inside of that document. Now that document may have many different steps and activities that need to be completed. So step two, completing the assignment can take anywhere from a few minutes to several days, depending on the complexity of what you're asking your students to do. The key thing, and this is what students frequently forget, especially if it is a longer multi-day assignment, they forget to click this button, turn in. While they may have done all of the work in the document itself, until they click that turn in button, you are not notified that it's, the assignment is done and ready for them to, uh, ready for you to grade. So we'll first we assign, student completes the work, and then it's very important that the student presses that submit button. One of the things that you can uh, mention to your students is make sure you know, once they click turn in, they're going to see the not done symbol is going to change to done. So you should, uh, you can say, hey kids, just make sure you go into your assignment and make sure you see that green check mark so that you know you've submitted your assignment. If the student turns in the assignment late, instead of saying done uh, right there, it would uh, say late like that, um, notifying the student that yes, it was turned in, but it was turned in after the assigned deadline. So that is step number three. First we assign, then students complete, then students submit. Now I'm going to jump back into my uh, teacher account, and if I go into the classwork section, look at that assignment right here, um, I'll be able to see listed under the done category. So it's going to sort my student assignments by whether they're done, not done, or late. I can see that it was turned in. If I actually click on that student, it'll take me in and let me see um, his or her work. I would click to open it. Step number four is to provide feedback to your students. Now there are many different ways you can provide feedback. The two most common are to either, in this case because it's the Google Doc, open up that Google document and um, leave the student a comment within the document, or I could go down here to the bottom and add a private comment. I could just say, um, great work, everything looks perfect and click post. Now there's two things here, there's feedback and there is a grade. Now in Google Classroom, you can see we right now this is worth 100 points and so I can give the students their points as well. Students are very eager to receive your feedback provided that feedback comes quickly after they submitted the file. Every moment that 
um, elapses after they press that submit button, the less interested in that feedback they're going to be. So step four is to provide feedback your, to your students by comments or uh, through private comments here in classroom. And then we're going to go ahead and post that. Now we're not quite done. Um, yes, we have sent the feedback, but if I am the student and I go into my assignment, you know, I can look here at my assignment that I have submitted and I will see the feedback that the teacher has left for me, but I am not currently seeing the grade that was posted. Furthermore, when I open this document, I am currently unable to see any comments that were left because I only have uh, view access to the document. Google Classroom does a pretty cool thing. When a student um, presses that turn in button or the mark is done button, it automatically reverts that document into view only, preventing the student from continuing to work on the file after they've submitted it. Any comments that you, the teacher, have left for the student in the document will not be visible until you complete step number five, which is to return the work to the student. So I need to go back to my student account, or excuse me, my teacher account uh, right here. So I'm a teacher now, and I'm going to click on... Um, all the students who are uh, finished. So in this case, I'm going to click on uh, the student's name. Then I'm going to go up here to the top and press return. It will give me an option to add an additional comment for the entire class if I wish. But once I click that return button, it transfers ownership of the document back to the student so that they can see the comments that I've left. They can also revise the document if I've asked them to. And then they'll also be able to see their grade. So we'll go back here. I'm in the student account now click the refresh button and you'll now see um, the feedback as well as the grade for that assignment so a couple of key things you can remind your students of first you're gonna see right here it's gonna say return so that's how they know that this assignment has been fully graded by you and given back to them just like handing them back their uh, homework on a physical sheet of paper and then secondly you're gonna see in the top right corner uh, their grade will be listed in that circle we'll talk a little bit more about grading in a different uh, video um, and where you should put those grades and how you should handle that that is step number five. Now, step number six is optional. It all depends on the type of assignment. Step number six would be to have your students look at the feedback that you've provided them and go ahead and fix those things and then resubmit the file. And then we would go back through the process of providing the feedback, updating their grade, returning it, and so on. So for some simple assignments, maybe it's just kind of a one and done. You probably aren't going to be doing feedback. Um, uh, or excuse me, revisions, but for longer assignments like research papers, persuasive essays, things of that nature, there may be uh, several drafts to that assignment. So you may ask them to turn it in, correct it, give it back to them for edits, they'll turn it in again, and even a third time um, possibly. So again, six uh, different steps to the Google Classroom assignment cycle. Uh, number one, we're going to assign the work. Number two, the students are going to work on it and complete it. Then they're going to click that mark as done button to actually submit it to us. We'll give them some feedback or a grade as appropriate. We'll return the work to them when we're all done so they can see our feedback. And then um, if desired, we'll have them revise their work and resubmit it to us.